What's going on YouTube? Um, I've got this fan here that I'm going to be putting in a room that I'm converting to my rat room. Uh, I'm just going to show some pieces of this installation. It's a AC Infinity fan. I ordered off Amazon. It's got these flaps here. Flip open and closed. Uh, I bought this one because you can plug it straight into an outlet. And it's got a plug for your controller. Uh, and I'm working on installing it, so I'm going to show a little bit here of what I'm doing in case y'all want to order the same thing. It may be kind of hard to see, but uh, I've already cut part of my hole out. I just measured, measured the inside of the fan, uh, the smallest part to where the, the lip will still overhang on the outside here. And it happened to be 10 and 3 sixteenths on all four sides. And now I'm going to try to match that up on this outer wall here. I'm gonna to have to cut through some plywood and some vinyl siding on the outside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and cut this out and then we can, I might have to cut the vinyl on the outside, but I'm not sure. And uh, once I get that cut, then I'll get back to hopefully fitting the fan in, seeing everything's gonna be right and hopefully get everything taken care of. sure if the time-lapse video that I'm going to try to add into this worked or not you can see it's kind of storming I had to go outside and cut the vinyl so I kind of had to hurry but uh, I'm gonna get the fan and see if it fits see if I didn't do any trimming or anything else like that I'm trying to get this hole plugged up or it's storming outside all right the fans in um, I've got a screw up here that I've got to fix it stripped out I was in a awkward place right there with my drill and uh, it cut sideways and stripped it but I replaced it with a sheetrock screw for the moment to hold it in um, if you're wondering what I cut this hole out with uh, I used a Milwaukee uh, I guess they call it a multi-tool oscillating saw just you know whatever right now I've got the titanium blade on it but you don't have to have that it's just the only blade I had left in my bag um, that cut it right out and uh, it'll cut the vinyl it'll cut whatever you need and with the titanium blade right there you can also cut nails or anything like that um, we'll go ahead and hook the controller up and see how far I need to go to uh, where I can mount it and hopefully we'll get to plug it in and see it run before I go ahead and install this I just wanted to show you what come with it um, it's got a sensor probe here for your temperature and humidity so it can cut it on and off. Uh, this is the box that uh, you're going to plug in to control your fan. Um, I'm assuming you can hang it from the wall or you can mount it directly to the wall. I guess it just depends on your preference and if you're going to be needing to move it or you know whatever you want to do it comes with some bolts here that you can secure it to something uh, it's got these stick on hangers here for the sensor probe <clears throat> and I'm assuming that uh, this here is also for the controller which I'll probably be using possibly some of the sheetrock screws because I could get them in and out easy and I could already tell by looking at these screws right here that 
one little miswhack and you're going to strip a screw. So I'll probably use the sheetrock screws. I'm, I'm not recommend, you know, I'm not saying you sh should or shouldn't use them, but that's what I'm going to do so I can get it in there easy. And if I need to remove it, I can, but I'm going to go ahead and find a spot to put this. It's got instructions, everything you need telling you what to do. But uh, let's go ahead and get it installed. So what I've done here, I've mounted my controller. Uh, I chose to mount it pretty close to the fan. Um, after I get this room converted into my rat room, uh, it won't necessarily be in the way. I've just ran the thermostat wire a short distance up to the top of the ceiling and it had a sticky pad on the back but that wasn't enough so I don't know if you can see that but I I ran some little screws in there on each side just to make sure that it was uh, going to stay and not fall but my reasoning for such a short distance you know I didn't want to have to pin the wire up you know all the way across the, the ceiling and you know, if it gets warm up here, you know, the heat's gonna rise. So I think this will do the job. If not, I can move it, but I'm getting ready to turn it on and see what happens and hopefully everything works right, but we'll see. So I've got the fan on now. Um, you can see it's running. I don't know how well you can hear it. I'm using my AirPods. Uh, it's pretty quiet but you can jack the settings up way high and you can feel just the, the air movement just coming by you. I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing much now, but you can see some cobwebs up here and they're moving pretty good, even all the way back. I know I need to dust and get them out of here, but it's gonna be a rat room, so it's not gonna be the cleanest of areas. Um, I cranked it up on, I think it was set in 10. And I mean, like I said, the air was just moving. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I think this right here is the on setting. I've got to mess with it some. Uh, it's got an off and a timer and then the auto mode. I guess it I guess it stays stays like that I've got to mess with it some I've just literally just hooked it up I just read on the instructions how to put it in um, but you can see it's registering up here that it's 66 degrees so it slowly cut the fan off I'm probably gonna to have to go on the outside and do a little working in there to keep the water from coming in because it wasn't quite thick enough to go to the outside wall, but it works pretty good. I guess I'll uh, try it out. I'm not gonna keep it on until, I mean, I might run it a little bit, but I'm not gonna keep it on until I get rats in here. Uh, it's claiming that the humidity in here is 71%, which I've had it shut off to any air for a while, but I'm gonna see how it runs. And you know, if you have any questions, just let me know. But Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.